Visibility one, the fog. Hi, it's Jen Judson, I'm the Land Warfare Reporter for Defense News, and I'm here at AOSA Global Force. I'm going to take a walk through the exhibit floor, so come along with me. The expo floor at Global Force is a lot smaller than at the Association of the U.S. Army's annual expo in D.C. here in Huntsville, but there's still plenty to see. While companies typically don't bring the big guns and large vehicles, BAA Systems did bring an armored multipurpose vehicle to the show outfitted with an Elbit America 30mm gun turret to show off a new capability to swap turrets in and out quickly. Because the Army is very fixated on unmanned aircraft for a variety of missions and is signaling it wants to buy an abundance of them and as fast as possible, the show, showroom floor abounded with those. I spotted fixed wing and quadcopter aircraft hanging from the ceiling all over, but also found some loitering munitions like these U-Vision ones that come in extra small, small, medium, and large. Textron brought its Aeroson platform, which is in a competition for the Army's new future tactical UAS. And here is a turret from Moog with a gun and a couple different launchers, plus a tethered quadcopter in the back. The Army recently completed a major experimental demonstration at Project Convergence in March that looked at how humans and machines can be integrated to fight effectively on the battlefield. At the demo, there's an octocopter that dropped munitions and other throwbots. I spotted an octop octocopter drone at Invariance Booth with its low-key capability that can emulate Javelin missile video and functionality. Also catching my eye at the show was Boeing and Saab's ground launch small diameter bomb, which was sent and used in Ukraine recently. Saab recently announced plans to grow its munition production here in the U.S. Earlier this week, I also took a trip to Fort Novacell, formerly known as Fort Rucker in southern Alabama, to the Army Aviation Center of Excellence, where I got an aerial look at the expansive training grounds for all Army helicopter pilots. The whole place consists of one Army airfield, Cairns, as well as four Army heliports, 15 stage fields, 60-plus remote training sites, one aerial gunnery range, and one Army radar approach control. Cairns is the largest and most active Army airfield in the U.S. The training area is 29,590 square miles, and out of 661,744 training flight hours, Fort Novacell has 223,554, or 36% of the hours flown total. There are 3,900 aircraft in the Army, with 518 at Fort Novacell, which is 13% of the fleet. In FY23, the Army trade, trained over 18,619 students in 116 courses and 716 foreign students from 34 countries. 